New tonight, some local business owners are fearing for their lives after San Diego police and DEA agents uncovered hundreds of marijuana plants at this indoor marijuana grow operation. Tenders reporter Matt Bendez has been digging into this story. He joins us live and Matt, this didn't happen in a, in a typical place, did it? That's right. It happened in a business complex with lots of businesses around here. You can see after the raid, these orange flyers went up around the building. The door, which was obviously busted out during the raid, is now boarded up. And before all of this, from looking at, on, at the outside, you never would have guessed what was going on inside. When you think of an indoor marijuana grow, normally it looks like this inside someone's home. But a recent bust was inside this Otay Mesa business complex off Progressive Avenue. Just the smell, it's really, really strong. You can see the front door boarded up and orange signs posted around the building. They read, this location has been involved in the trafficking of illegal narcotics. And it's just strange. It's just strange. I mean, especially here in uh, these type of areas. Alan Gallegos works catty corner selling massage chairs. He saw the March 28th raid unfold. I looked on the corner on the building. Uh, I saw like two or three DA cops. Uh, they were with their bags coming out in and out of that building, you know, putting them in their trucks. 10 News has obtained this search warrant showing San Diego police and DEA agents taking 200 large marijuana plants and about nine pounds of processed pot. Records also show 22 year old Ryan Bordeaux opened up an SDG and E account. He racked up bills close to $2,000 a month. Documents show Bordeaux was previously arrested on drug charges. He must be in a lot of trouble now. Police were tipped off by a neighboring businessman who smelled the strong marijuana every day. Other neighbors were too afraid to talk to us on camera, fearing retaliation. But they say a man in his early 20s would stop by the building about three times a week and stay for an hour. He told them the business was a refrigeration repair shop. And back out here live, police are still investigating this. They have not made any arrests, and police say in most cases it's a vigilant neighbor who reports these drug activities. Reporting live in Otay Mesa, Matt Mendes, 10 News.